Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer Termel, and this is the debate highlights from the Durham um, Retirement Home debate on the 13th in the morning. Originally, I'd been invited, then I got told that I was being uninvited. Josh and I were not going to be allowed on the debate by Frederick uh, Wind. And uh, so anyway, Josh convinced him to let Josh on the debate, but he thought he was going to keep me off. So I showed up and then he caved and let me on the debate. But then he gave me a bit of a trouble. And at the end, a short report about the uh, Friends of the CBC debate later that night, to which I was not invited. John Hi, well, I'm the infamous John Turmel engineer in the Guinness Book of Records for having run in more elections than anyone else in history. 1997, it was a 41. St. Page was Her Majesty the Queen, longest reigning queen under royalty and government. But it didn't go to my head because he wrote a conversion. He put me on the same page as the world's biggest bagel. But the media have had a lot of fun. Super loser fails again. My favorite because exactly one month after I lost to Sheila Copps in 1996, and I've been pushing starting up these Let's Time Bank systems, the Hamilton self-help group started up a Let's. So my mission was accomplished. I didn't have to get elected, and I don't need to get elected here. I just need to find one kid with a sharp brain to set it up for you. <laughs> now, why would they say world's richest pauper? Winner at the table, loser at the polls. Well, I was teaching assistant of Canada's only mathematics of gambling course at Carleton University for four years after my degree in systems engineering. Toughest science stream of all, grade 17 in science, 98 percentile math, 100 percent physics. So when I tell you I'm going to bet on something, <laughs> watch your cash. Remember the movie Rounders for those who play hold of poker? The scene in the Taj Mahal, the chandeliers and everything, where Matt Damon came in and said, we don't play together, but when was the last time you ever saw one piranha eat another piranha? Well, every little town's poker game got their professor, but I was known as the professor at that Taj Mahal. So, why am I taking all these losing gambles? What's so important? Fukushima. Remember Fukushima? A few days before the radiation plume hit BC, the Tories turned off the fallout detectors. March 25th, don't check that. They didn't want to scare you. Now, if you do the math and you check the fraudulent statistics, baby deaths tripled. But they didn't want to scare you. You know, are your fish outside and your pond's dead? <clears throat> your plants stop growing? So a lot of neat, a lot of funerals recently. The guy's sick a month ago and he's dead now. Scary stuff happening because we've been sucking in fallout for three years with no one warning us what to do. So I'm going to quickly tell you what you may want to do. YouTube for Cure All Fast, where I've done a series of videos on why starving yourself will make your healthy cells hunker down and cause your cancer cells to starve because they need exponential growth. Also, I'm leading Medical marijuana activist creates legal kits and floods federal courts, and I have over 300 people in federal courts wanting exemptions for marijuana. Juice and oil! They don't want the bud to get high, they want the oil to cure their cancers, and you better repeal that law fast, because you're going to be needing juice and oil pretty quick too, and that takes volume. So. And of course, the first one, my first guy died of cancer while the judge had stayed his action. And it still stayed and he's dead. Now, don't think I'm kidding. Back in 2003, I went on Parliament Hill with seven pounds of marijuana to prove the law was dead, a life sentence worth. And I did make them drop 4,000 charges. And I only got sentenced to 100 hours community service playing my accordion in old folks' home. My accordion saved me three times. Two from gambling convictions and once from that marijuana. So what else can we do? Money reform. As long as we don't have the money to fund the decommissioning of nuclear and the cleanup, we're going to sit here, keep sucking it, and die faster than we should. Now, I advocate paying kids with bus tickets because Hong Kong paid their students with transit credits to do work. As a matter of fact, 
Sydney this year just installed ticket, bus ticket payouts for people for recycling. So don't tell me we can't use bus tickets for empty seats to do something useful. That's called community currency. When Argentina crashed in the one and in the 80s, provinces started up their own community currencies. The union said, you're not going to lay anybody off because you got no money. We'll take small denomination $10 bonds if we can use them to pay hydro, taxes, medical, and licenses. Now, if Ontario did that, wouldn't you take it? Well, 750 cities and states in Russia did that. Gone bucks. And I'll be explaining that. Future, all the financial problems that come up, I'm going to answer them with this local employment trading time bank software. Okay? That's how we actually generate the funds to save ourselves. So I'm Johnny Engineer Turnell. That's why I don't mind losing my 83rd Thank time. Thank you, One John. time got called off. Didn't lose it. <laughs> Well, I think the real reason is vulnerability, the situation they're in, due to poverty, okay? And now, you remember earlier, Josh was talking about letting government borrow from the Bank of Canada, pay all their interest-bearing debts, and after that, they don't have to tax us to pay the principal. No more debt service. Wouldn't that be nice, debt service out of the budget? Would, would, well, you, mind, would you mind staying with the question? Just because you can't stay with it doesn't mean I'm not getting there. <laughs> now, if the let's can work for governments, I want the let's to let that, those poor women open accounts too. So they have interest-free credit cards at the National Bank. And now if hubby's abusive, they got the credit to leave. So, empower women with credit, interest-free credit was the answer I was leading to with the sweat software he didn't get. Yes. Just before I got there. John? Ah, oh, yes, there are so many things we have to do to get this working. We need to do this, we have to do that, we have to do this. They've identified all the things that need to be done if only they had some money to do it. And they don't. And they won't. Now, again, how did Argentine hospitals managed to keep all their staff and provide maximum service by the employees accepting government bonds instead of cash. Now, no one expects you to do that. And that's why you don't deserve the same service they did. Now, it takes a certain amount of brilliance, which the Argentines seem to possess, and which Canadians just don't seem to be able to stay with. A piece of paper that can pay your hydro, your taxes, your medical, your licenses. Nah, let's wait till we get a loan out of the banks by one of these parties. Then we can tax you more to pay them interest as well. If Argentina, if we did the same, all the interest in the budget stays ours. You get it? If you ain't spending it on interest, we can spend it on us. Now, I know I'm a mathematical genius, and I don't expect you to stay with me. But how come the Argentines can figure it out and you guys can't? Check the voting results to appreciate how non-Argentine Canadians are. So are there uh, potential damages to our environment? Of course. Overfishing, deforestation, pollution, uh, the oil sands is damaging the environment of aboriginals, very horrible. But take five minutes later tonight and go online and look at the internationally recognized satellite data of anthropo excuse me, of, 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 of temperature. And you'll see from 1998, the temperature has actually been cooler. There was a court case in England by a professor named Michael Mann, and it was determined in the court, a court of law, that he fraudulently massage the data to hide the decline in temperature. But I support all of the Green Party's objectives. I want green energy, I want solar energy, I want wind, and through the Bank of Canada, direct capital injection, we will be able to achieve those energy feats. But has temperature been going up? Oh, it hasn't. And we don't need uh, any expert, just look at the temperature data from 1998. So I support clean energy, 
but not because the temperature is normal. Well, actually, I think climate gate is one of the most incredible hoaxes now going on. Not only did the hockey stick break off in 1998, and I've got bets. I'd love to flash in your face on the internet saying, I bet you now it's cooler than 98, so tell me about your lies. Guess what? The 1930s were hotter than it is now. I can bet it was hotter 80 years ago before there was any CO2. That's how stupid people think and they can control climate with a trace gas really is. Now, you can trust me with my 100% in physics and my genius in math, or you can trust the politicians who say, we don't know which scientists got it right. Well, look at your damn thermometers. We're starting to freeze out there, setting records. How can you believe it's warming? 25,000 polar bears now, five times more than we were told they were at the time. Come on, do your homework and wise up. We don't need some carbon tax. We need more carbon. Plants want it. Great. Thank you, Frank. Um, you'll forgive me if I'm a little astounded right now that we're actually having this conversation about climate change in the year 2014. Uh, it's it quite, um, quite clear that we have consensus not only within the research scientists within no, Canada you don't. who have been, who have no, been hushed don't. up, um, and we also have the international intergovernmental panel on uh, climate change also with multiple Roger reports Dana. still coming out. And if, if uh, for some uh, you know, reason that I can't fathom, and many other people, rational people that I speak with fathom, that this isn't a real uh, phenomenon. Um, I can't see uh, any harm in us making a transition to a green economy. I can't. We have, it's not green. Um, um, I think uh, I've been respectful of you, so you can probably... Well, when Greeny Craig Cameron said that there was a consensus amongst the scientists, which isn't true, 31,000 scientists signed the global warming petition saying they disagree with it. And if the 97% consensus was true, they'd have 970,000 other guys on their side, wouldn't they? And they don't. And by saying that rational people agree with them, well, that meant intellectual war. Do likewise, I'm sure. Um, I, think, I think what's really encouraging. I think what's really encouraging for, for me now is that we have a discussion from all political spectrums, a multipartisan talk about the need to use uh, economics as we apply it to our, uh, our moving forward with the in government, uh, with our environment. We have models of this in Germany where they've they've integrated a sound economic practice with environmental uh, conservatism. So this is um, this is. Good for us. It's good for business, and uh, I think it's uh, it's the future, and we need to catch uh, the green shift. Thanks. Bullshit. Thank you, Trish. Won't somebody ask this gentleman to leave? He's not, he's not respecting anybody. Hey, he's lying to us. He should leave. He's lying. He should leave. John, I object to lying in public. If you don't stop, I'm going to send you away. No one else is going to walk. Come on. Trish? Um, yeah. All right. Let's pull this back together because, of course, climate change is, in fact, about global warming. Thank you. This is the end of the debate. Oh, we now oh, have... You forgot us. I know. I, I okay, so in Japan, so they have Furiyu Kibu time bank system where people who contribute to the health care people who contribute to the health care system a certain number of hours can call on those hours back. So 60% of the people in Japan belong to a time bank system called Furiyu Kibu. And if he thought he was going to deny me the chance to speak because he's got some grudge, he's wrong, isn't he? So, I just wanted to tell you how the Japanese are a bit brighter than you people are too. Yeah. I wish you caught on. They can put in hours oh, and then they can lose them. As if, gee, you are undemocratic, sir. He wouldn't let me come till I showed up today. And I said, if you don't let me on, I make a fuss. Then he backed down. Okay? I'll pass off my flyer about Mr. Democracy here. You 
are a bully. He's the man who wouldn't let me speak, and I'm the bully. You're a bright boy, sir. And you're not. You're a really bright one, sir. He cuts me off, and I'm the bully. It's over. Get your glasses off, sir. They're not the right prescription. It's over. By the way, I'm posting this at YouTube tonight, so our exchanges will be there for posterity, me and the slow learners. Yes, sir. That's right, I'm a senior, still got my brains. I grow new brain cells with marijuana, bet you don't. Okay, excuse me. I, I would like to say that I believe all of the candidates here would like to thank Mr. Wynn for putting this together. We'd like to thank Great, your one minute. 